Hey, welcome to Crafty Music Tips. My name is Crafty and this is the Beatsplained video series where I take a look at a weird intro and talk about it. And so the song Sex on Fire, it's a bit of a weird intro because it doesn't start on beat one. Say what? That's right. It starts on beat four like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, et cetera, et cetera. And the best way to get it into your head is kind of counting like this. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, like that. And one way that I kind of think of it is that it's like the guitarist did start on beat one and recorded it in. And then someone that was a, an engineer for the session just was like, I wonder what would happen if you just moved it. Uh, actually, yeah, don't know if they definitely would have done that, of course. It's just hearsay. But either way, it's a cool, quirky intro. I like cool, quirky intros so much that I'm here offering a Beatsplain series about them. And so they are really interesting because a lot of times people will just think that they're easier than what they actually really are. And so I think that it's really important that you do spend some time in getting them correct because it just means that when you've got people in an audience listening to you and you're doing it correct, they'll be like, mm, yeah, 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 good job. Hmm? She likes Kings of Leon. <laughs> but of course, what can happen is you might know it correctly and somebody else in your band might not. And so it can cause some friction and tension when you know they're used to it one way and you're used to it to another way. And so who is right? If you're filling in for a band and there's four other people in the band, for instance, and they all do it wrong. If you're doing it right, well, then you're the minority. You're the one that will be seen as doing it wrong, sadly. Wrong. And so no matter what the instrument it is that you play, if you're just trying to be able to hear it correctly so that when you're listening to it, you can pinpoint where beat one is. Just try this as an exercise. Try just listening to this on this video over and over or just try playing yourself like this where you go, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, one drummer that I know, just as a quick side note, he hears it as three bars of four, four with the riff starting on beat one of the first bar and then hearing a five, four bar where the hi-hat comes in on the fifth end or the end of five. And then, of course, goes back to four, four. And... You know, my feelings on the situation are that it does actually start on beat four. But let's just say that uh, you're a guitarist and you're playing it the way that you're hearing it as beat four that it starts on. If the drummer's thinking it in another way and you both come in correctly, then... Oh my God, who the hell cares? But let's just say that you've got two different people thinking of it in two different ways. As long as you end up together in sync, does it really matter which way that you're counting it? Now, one quick little tip here for guitarists, if you're finding the intro a little bit challenging, especially with your picking hand, well then try adding in every single E note on each numbered beat. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and That's kind of cool. It's kind of a little bit 70s disco. And then, of course, to edge closer to getting the riff correctly, you've got to take out beats two and three on the beat. Here we go like this. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, 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 four. Two, 
All right, so there you have it. If that was a helpful music tips video for you, let me know in the comments below. Now, Crafty Music Tips is a channel that has a heap of different other type of things apart from the subject of this video. So if you're after a bunch of different music tips in different areas, well then go check out a bunch of the other videos on this channel. But if that's still not enough for you, I have one little parting gift to offer you. It's called Five Steps to Fast Improvement. Basically, look, we've all been there where we're just feeling like we're chasing our tail, we're going around in circles, we're really not getting the improvement that we want at the rate that we want. So what I do is I help clear up whatever the confusion is, whatever the indecision, whatever that weird feeling that you have on the inside by giving you the five clear steps of what it is that you need to do in order to really be able to see the improvement that you want. So if that sounds like something that's really helpful for you, I'll leave a link below, go check that out. And so, yeah, until... I see you again in another hopefully helpful music tips video. I'll just sign off. My name is Crafty. Wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, I hope that it's musically rocking and rolling and I'll see you soon.